Unemployment hit a record high 14.7 percent with more than 20 million jobs lost in April. It's a hit the country expected, of course, and on Fox and Friends yesterday, President Trump says he's optimistic we will bounce back quickly. We had the strongest economy in the history of the world, the strongest economy we've ever had, and we had to close it, which is artificial. We artificially closed it. Those jobs will all be back, and they'll be back very soon. And next year, we're going to have a phenomenal year. So what are the next steps to jumpstart the economy? We have the best person to answer that question right now. Joining us now, the chair of the President's Revitalization Council, HUD Secretary, Dr. Ben Carson. Mr. Secretary, thank you very much for being on the program. Uh, you've got a big, a pleasure. Absolutely. Friend of the show. If, if you have a big job on your hands, uh, you had a meeting yesterday about it. What is top of mind for you as you tackle this task of revitalizing our economic engine? Well, first of all, uh, I think it's very important to point out that, you know, this economic crisis that we're experiencing right now uh, was intentional, and it was on the back of an extraordinarily strong economy. Yes. In 2008, it was just the opposite. We had a very weak economy. So this is a different situation altogether. And it's very important that we not allow that economic infrastructure to be destroyed so that we can rapidly get back on that train again. So what we want to do is make sure that we preserve, particularly the small businesses. The small businesses are the backbone of the economy of this country. They employ the vast majority of Americans. And the, the longer, you know, we stay shuttered, the more of those small businesses will die. So on the forefront of what we're thinking about is how do we make sure that we preserve the viability of those small businesses? And a lot of that has to do with using our brains intelligently, uh, not allowing this virus to completely dominate us, but in fact, how do we control it and live with it until we have the ability to completely eliminate it? Yeah. If we wait until it's all gone, before we come out, our economy will be gone. Absolutely also. right. Doctor, the president has laid out guidelines and then basically said, hey, states, it's on governors to, to manage their reopenings. But we see a l protests across the country, a lot of governors taking it really slow, a lot of big states where cities have cut cases, but counties have none. How can you incentivize governors to actually allow people to responsibly reopen who are ready to do so. Their livelihoods are at stake. They don't want to bail out. They don't want another PPP loan. They want to open their doors because they know they can. Target's wide open. My small retailer isn't. What more can be done to actually make sure that happens? Well, I think what we have to do is emphasize data and evidence. Uh, you know, we have enough places that are opening under various circumstances that we can look at what has happened there particularly when people are wise enough to follow the guidelines. You know, make sure that you, you keep your hands washed. Be careful about what you touch. Wear the mask where appropriate. Remain, continue to maintain the social distancing. When we do those things, it is eminently possible to go back to work. You know, except mm -hmm. for the people who are very vulnerable, the elderly people, people who have significant underlying problems that could interfere with their immune response. Obviously, those people we need to protect, and we need to make sure that the people around them understand the principle. But when that's the case, there's absolutely no reason that we can't go back. And governors, like anybody else, ought to be able to understand data when it's presented. Absolutely. That is, that is common sense. That is trust in the American people. Uh, that's letting people make their own risk calculations. I, do, doctor, I, I wish you all the best. You have a huge job which, with massive consequences for our country. You've got the medical background as well as the economic well, side. Good, well, last me, word, real quick. Say we have an, an enormous team, virtually all the uh, agencies in the United States government are involved. Everyone's contributing tremendously to this. And this is America, and we're going to get it done. Amen. Keep the, keep the heat on those governors. A lot of them Absolutely. slow rolling. All right, Dr. Ben Carson, appreciate your time. Thank you so much.